Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these colorful, psychedelic, tie-dyed, animated backgrounds. You can use any composition settings that you want. Mine is 1920 by 1080 pixels, 24 frames per second, 10 seconds in duration. Then just drag any type of footage onto your comp window. This is one of my hand painted textures, but I really encourage you to try all sorts of different things. The first effect I'm going to add is called CC Collida. So I'm going to go to the effects and presets. I'm going to do a search for Collida. It begins with a K, so K-A-L. And I'm just going to drag it right onto this footage layer. And just like that, I have this pretty cool design. I really encourage you to just play around with all the properties. Just change the values as you can get some really cool effects with the CC Collida effect. I'm going to change the size from 20 to 100. I'll change the mirroring from flower to starlish. And I'm going to animate the rotation property using a simple expression. So I'll press the option key on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, click on the stopwatch next to rotation. I'm going to type out time, T-I-M-E, asterisk, so shift eight. I'm just going to type in 25. I'll click away. Now I'll tap the space bar. And just like that, I've got this pretty cool, trippy, psychedelic animation that I can use as a background, all from one texture file. The next effect that I'm going to add is Fast Box Blur. So I'll go to the Effects and Presets panel and just start typing out Fast. F-A-S-T. I'll select Fast Box Blur. I'm just going to drag it right onto the footage layer. That's going to go below the CC Collider effect. I'm just going to change the blur radius from 0 all the way up to 50. I'll go back to the effects and presets. And the last effect I'm going to add is the four color gradient. So I'll just type in the number four. I'll see the four color gradient. I'll drag it right onto the footage. It's going to go below the fast box blur effect. Then all you have to do is just change the blend mode under the four color gradient. So just try out different blend modes until you get a look that you like. To control the strength of the CC Collider effect, you can increase or decrease the fast box blur. So I can crank up the fast box blur radius. So now I'm still seeing the animation from the CC Collide effect, but it's a little more subtle where I'm just seeing the colors. Or you can go in the other direction. If you wanted a full on tie dye trippy effect, you can lower the blur radius. So you're really seeing a lot of that CC Collide mixed in with the colors of the four color gradient. Then just add your logo, add some text, and you have endless ways to customize this animated background to get it exactly how you want it. And if you want to swap out or replace the footage, select the footage layer. So that's the one with all of the effects on it. Go to your project panel and select the footage that you want to replace it with. Press the option key on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and just drag it from the project panel right on top of the layer. Let go. And if you go to the effect controls, you will see that all of the effects are exactly the same. I'm going to hide the logo layer. Then I'm going to temporarily disable each of the effects by clicking on a little FX next to each. So the footage layer is just a still graphic of my podcast. I'll turn on the CC Collida effect. So now I've got this crazy mirroring effect. Remember, I'm animating this by pressing the option key, clicking on the stopwatch, and adding the time expression. You can increase the time expression amount if you want to speed up the animation. You can also animate any of the other properties just using simple keyframes. I'll turn on fast box blur. So decrease the blur radius if you want to see more of the footage or increase it if you want it more abstract. So here's what it looks like with just the two effects. I'm going to unhide my logo layer just to show you that all the colors are working together. So that looks pretty cool. I'll turn on the four color gradient to give me that brighter tie dyed look. And I can play around the blending modes. I'll turn it to screen if I want it kind of a lighter look. But that is how you can use the CC Collider, Fast Box Blur, and the four color gradient effects to create colorful, tie dye psychedelic, endlessly looping animated backgrounds in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.